Hi guys, this is where we are. Thumbs up, like the videos, please. Victoria Street, Toyland. Where we are, Victoria Street, Toyland. Efficient all. Opened by Claire Jo Howard, the Mayor of Barnsley, BNBC, on December 2005. Right guys, we're on about drugs again. I'm only going to do two videos on drugs. Don't like drugs, don't like druggies. Uh, come off your drugs and I'm sure you'll be nice people. Some of you have never come off drugs. Cars in Ireland. Uh, loads of cars in Ireland getting broke into. Parkside Ireland coming, lots of cars getting broke into. Now then, these flats here, they're for old people. Uh, so I'm going to walk round them. They're for old people, nice old people. But I've been told, now nah, I don't want to get this lady down here because she stood in door place. So uh, let me have a look. Let me just get past this lady. She keeps looking. Are you? Yeah. So this is where we are. And what they're doing here. This is what they're doing here, look. I, I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm going to have a walk round here. So they're doing the same here. They put in... I'm not sure if I can walk up here. No, I can't. So that's what they're doing here. They're putting drug addicts in here too. And I've got a lady down there swearing. I've never seen her before. So she's down there, she's swearing. Never seen her before. I can hear her chopping in background there. So I'll have to try and choke over her. Now, I don't know if she's got some issues. She could have got mental issues. Uh, she hasn't got mental issues. She cares for somebody. She's what? She cares for somebody. Oh, she's telling me to she's F just, off. She's just wondering what you're doing. Oh, I just walked down there. I'm doing a, a YouTube video and I can hear her telling me to F off and asking me what I'm doing, you're being. So she's swearing at yeah, me. Yeah, but why do a YouTube video around where old people and disabled people? Ah, well, if you watch YouTube, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, are you a nurse? Are you a nurse? I'm a carer. Oh. You're a carer? Yes. All right then, thanks a lot. So I've got to, so I've come in here. I'll show you where we are again. So I've come in here to do a video. And I've got a woman down there. I'm just public, Joe, so I've walked down here. Care is just telling me about that woman down there. He's wondering what I'm doing, but she's down in the corner. Saying what you're doing, you be, and telling me to F off. Now I've got Carer here at end and said she's not she's she ain't got mental issues, love. She's uh, she's a carer. She's a carer? I've just walked in there, Joe Public. I have not said out to lady. I'm walking around doing a video, she's telling me to F off and saying what you're doing, you be. Uh, and then I've got this lady here at end bungalow, she's a carer, uh, asking what I'm doing a YouTube video for. I said, if you watch YouTube, you'll see. Uh, and she were upset, but I walked in there. So, what's the problem with me walking in old people's bungalows? I'm going to walk back this way anyway. What's the problem, me, average person? Is that normal behaviour for a woman to start calling you to be and asking, asking you what you're doing you be and, and then telling you to off? Is that normal behaviour? And she's a carer, she's caring for somebody. I don't think so. I think there's something going off on... Sounds like there's something going off on here. Do I look like I'm uh, dressed for action? Uh, do I look a bit strange to some people or what? I don't know. So, uh, I think that's really strange. That's bungalows here. Now, I've been telling these bungalows here, a lot of nice old people. Uh, there's odd drug addict. There's a druggy in there, they put a druggy in there. Uh, so why are you putting uh, drug, drug addicts, why are you pulling mentally unstable people, right normal people? Now I've just, for myself, I've just experienced that. I've just experienced that. I've walked down, had a look round, so I've just experienced it. So I walk back this way because I don't want to walk past pub. Because there's a lot of people outside pub. 
so I don't want to walk past pub. So I've just experienced it myself. Uh, people shouting at me and asking what am I doing you be and like I said, never I've never said out to anyone, I'm just walking around. I let this lady get past. Thank you. Uh, so I ain't said anything to anyone, so I've just walked in there having a look round Victoria, Victoria Street, and then I've got some woman swearing at me she's supposed to be a carer. And then I've got this other lady here, she's a carer, and she's asking what am I doing? Why shouldn't I walk? Why shouldn't I walk in there? Uh, it's for old people. And I don't know, they're putting, uh, like I said, I don't know, there's a drug addicts in there, or at least one, and they're putting them round old people. And if that's a carer, what's telling me to, uh, what you're doing, you're being telling me to F off, uh, she, she wants booting out of there, that's disgusting. That's a carer, and then nurse, then nurse what stood there with nurse's uniform on, little woman, she's telling me the same, she's... Well, she actually said that she's not got mental issues, love. Uh, she's actually a carer. Well, why is she telling me to F off and asking what I'm doing? Uh, unless something's happened on there, I don't know about it. Uh, but to me, I've never, I've never walked anywhere in Ireland, uh, and I've never had anybody. I've never walked down the street in Ireland, and I've walked past. I've walked down some rough streets. Let me get across so I can't see for sun. So I've never walked down the street in Ireland and had anybody come out and start swearing and effing and blinding at me, telling me to off. So that's what's happened in there. A uh, woman telling me to off and swearing at me. And then I've got nurse saying, uh, I've got another care saying she's a carer, love. She's caring for somebody. Oh, what's she doing telling me to F off? A carer? That I don't believe it. Some are not. Some are not right in there. So I've just experienced that. I did come down to. My topic was. Uh, why are they putting uh, drug addicts next door to old people? Old people what's worked all their lives. Nice old people. Uh, why are they doing it? Uh, bit crazy for me. So, what do you think to that then? Uh, not exactly funny, some going off the... Uh, uh, if she ain't got mental issues, I don't know what she's got. She must have got some type of big problem. Because, like I said, there's a lot of rough streets around Ireland. A lot of rough lads, and you can walk past them and they don't say a thing to you. They might say, all right, to you, hello. They can be drunk, they're just having, they'll, they might say something, but they don't, uh, they don't start effing and blinding it, yeah? So that that's really a bit strange to me. I've never experienced that. And uh, like I said, that was my topic. My topic, why are they putting, that was my topic, why are they putting drug addicts next to old people? And why are they, I just get past this point. That, that's my topic. Uh, just get past. So that's my topic. I turned it side. So that's my topic, guys. Why are they? Uh, why are they putting drug addicts next door to uh, old people? Because I'm telling you now, if they put drug addicts next to my mum, which she's, de she's died anyway, passed away, Alzheimer's. She had a bad time on it, bad life. Bad last seven, eight years. Uh, so I understand old people. They've got problems. Uh, but she, the nurse has just said, but that lady there, what were effing and blinding at me and asking what I was doing and telling me to off, she's supposed to be a carer. So if I walk in here now and a lady comes out of here, I'm sure she'd come up to say, hello, love, what are you looking for, something? She wants to, would she start effing and blinding at me? I don't think so. So that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing here in Ireland. So you've got a lot of drug addicts now. They're breaking into all your cars. Uh, I don't know if any houses around Commons being broke into. Uh, but I don't know. They're putting unstable people around your, 
grandparents, round your mums, round your dads, if they're in the old people's bungalows. Uh, I'm not the type of person that'll wear it if it if Ireland gets a bit crazy with drugs and the, and you start hitting things, people are going to hit back. They're not just going to let you do what you want. So you will get some people. I mean, I don't condone violence myself, but you'll get some people. They'll get fed up on you, and you'll be getting a good hiding, and there'll be trouble. So, like I said, I don't condone violence. If you're on drugs, I tell you what I think. I think you ought to get off them. Uh, try and get a job, get a better life. Things are hard enough, guys. But I've experienced that now for myself. Uh, I'm walking down, I've got somebody effing and blinding at me, telling me to off. Uh, going off like somebody mental. Uh, and then I've got nurse outside there saying to me, uh, she ain't got mental problems, love, and she, are you sure about that? Are you, are you really sure? She's a carer, she's caring for somebody. Well, why is she telling me to F off and not rest on it? They're asking where I'm shouting at me. Like, like, she's got something wrong with her. If she's a carer, if she wants strike it off, uh, that's all I can say. So, this is probably going to be my last video I ever do on drugs. And your cars, so what's your cars? All these streets, you see me walk around. They're probably going to get hit sooner or later. And to you boys and girls on drugs, take care, God bless. It's up to you guys to get off them. Get off your drugs. If you've got mental issues, there's no anxiety anyway, because there's not what I can say. Uh, society's just going to have to look after you. Uh, I think it'd be a good idea for government to stop giving druggies money to go and buy more drugs, put them in some type of an army, get them off drugs, put them to work. I think I think that's needs looking at, but I'm no expert, what do I know? And I'm just an idiot from Ireland, what do I know? He's an idiot, isn't he? I's an idiot. We're all idiots, everybody what goes out to work, we're all idiots, go to a druggie or an idle, an idle drunk. Uh, so that's it, to hard working people. I feel sorry for some of these people, guys. I honestly feel sorry uh, for some of these old ladies and gentlemen. They're going through hard times. Like I said, uh, they've got bad issues, they're passing away. And you've got idiots living next door to you. Anyway, I'm off down else you could to do a video. If you've got out to say to me, see me walking about, whether it's good or bad, say what you like, I don't really care. If you've got something bad to say, uh, or you think you're going, if you've got something bad to say to me, I'm here, I'm walking around, you can say it. If you make a bad comment, I'll just delete you. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't really care about you anyway. If you're a good person, take care, God bless. I hope you're having a good, happy weekend, guys. Lot of unstable people around. Where are they putting them? Here on UK Life. Like, subscribe, share the videos, please. Last word, if you're on drugs, try and get off them, guys. Uh, try and get up that ladder. It's no fun. Take care, God bless. Thumbs up, like the videos. Share the videos, please. Subscribe. Make a comment.